Welcome, Taurus, to your Astro Dice reading for July. I hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back, all subscribers. Anyone new to my channel, welcome, welcome. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends. For those of you who are new, this is where I take astrology with tarot and make a small horoscope for the month. Okay, let's see what's going on with you, Taurus. And for those of you who are also new, again, I am Taurus as well, so let's get this done. See what's going on. Okay. We have the fifth house coming in. Ooh, with Aries energy. With Venus. Oh, okay. Wow. Can it be a little spicy? Ooh. Gonna have a lot of passion going on over here with that Aries. That's really going to bring in a lot of passion. Um, having the Venus coming in with that Aries. Wow. Okay. That's some heat. Um, the part of you that decides beauty, success, indulgence, and valuables with Venus coming in. Having that beautiful Venetian, your own energy that is your planet. So going to feel right at home with Venus being there. And it's going to bring in a lot of good luck. I'll tell you that right now. Because she loves us. <laughs> okay, she loves us. So, you know, that, that's ours, you know. And we share it with Libra. So, um, and, you know. Uh, let's see, Aries over here. The energy around you is dynamic and spontaneous. Crusading impulsive is impulsive action is likely careful of the impulsive action. Because as a Taurian, <laughs> we're already stubborn. We already have kind of our own impulsive little places and things that we do, right? So just knowing that it's going to be more impulsive, um, yeah. And then you have this dynamic and spontaneous. Boy, watch out, Taurus. I say watch out world for Taurus, right? Taurus is coming. Taurus is going to be on this horse. You know, you know, just take off the rider over here and put Venus on there. Oh my God, here we come, right? And don't forget about the passion and that fire. And yeah, I'm going to feel like you're on fire over here, Taurus. And we're going straight into the fifth house of love. Shoot, that's a great place for it. Okay, so... The world needs to watch out for Taurus in July. 100. You've got Venus. Okay. Planet of love, beauty, desire, success, indulgence, with impulsiveness, dynamic, passionate, sparking, spontaneous, crusading, with love and romance. Well, whoever you're around, Taurus, they better, you know... I don't know. I don't even know what to say, you know, because I mean, that is some, that's going to be hot, hot, hot. If it's exactly the way I'm feeling over here. <laughs> okay. And then of course you're already in cancer season, right? So your emotions are already going to be a little woo. So hot, spicy love. You, the, remember, the fifth house is where you have fun, romance, and create things you are proud of. There's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of romance. A lot of spice. Hmm. So let's see what's going on in the beginning of the month. And the beginning of the month, it is justified with the justice card coming out. The truth is, the truth is in Venus that you are Venus. Nothing but the truth. I hold the truth. You are balanced because you're in your own energy. So you are going to feel super balanced, super truthful, standing in your truth. Um, everything's going to feel justified. Karma is on your side. That's a karmic card. Wow. So if you feel like you have the beauty, the desire, the success, the indulgences, whoa, over here with that Aries coming in with that passion, you want the valuables, you are going to feel like Lady Godiva, which I usually don't really use for, except for Libra, but that's okay. The whole point is, is that you definitely can feel like Lady Godiva. 
You'd be walking in on your horse, your cow, you know, could be naked with your hair <laughs> covering you as clothes, right? And it's good. It's good. That's good. That's great energy. It's great for Taurus because we want to feel special. We want to have that love. We want to have that desire, that beauty, and have it come back to us because that's who we are. And yes, look at that. Your nine of pinnacles. This is a Capricorn Taurus card. And you do. How could you? That's exactly who you are. Like I said, some kind of looking like Lady Godiva over here. Look at the look at the clothes. You probably want to dress up. You're going to want to feel spectacular. Right? Go, you know, on vacations, do the things you want to do, get your desires, travel, dress like a queen. Be treated like a queen. Have the world see you as a queen. A lot of you might be single and it's time to get your queenness out there and go be hot, hot, hot. And those of you who are single, uh, if, you're, if you're married, your, your husband's just be, or your wife's just going to be like, what the? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, that is a single card for a lot of you. So if you are single, this is time to, I'm going to say single and ready to mingle, right? Don't even forget that, right? Because you're putting on this transformation over here in the fifth house that's saying, I have, I'm ready. I've got this. I'm jumping on my horse and I'm moving. This is not a time for you to be super slow, right? You can't be because you have Aries in you. If this was Taurus, then you'd be super slow and sexy. Right, but you're not. You're going to be impulsive. You're ready. You're jumping on a horse and you're just like, here I come galloping in. And this is the transformation that you've been kind of waiting for this month. It's a transformation in the way you feel. And it doesn't mean it's a tra transformation where it's like a phoenix or it doesn't even have to be a butterfly. It could just be the ladybug transformation, which means just this month I feel dynamic, spontaneous, awesome. And the world is going to see you that way. Let's not forget that. Because when Taurus puts on that, any energy that puts on this energy of themselves, the world reflects out on it. It doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't matter if it's Capricorn, Scorpio, right? Because we all have our own energy. And you are in your own energy, in your own energy. And this energy of this Taurus is coming in with this Aries. And I can't wait to go to the store and actually witness Taurus at the store so I can see her, not just myself, right? Because, oh gosh. But I mean, literally see the other ones because I can feel that energy and I'll pick up that energy and I'll be like, dang, she's looking cocky today, right? And really feeling it because she's really in her own. Um, I love doing that. I love doing that because then I can see it, right? For those who it resonates with, I can see that. Be like, dang, girl. <laughs> Even men, men, you know, they kind of got that, hello, <laughs> you know, and it's just like, well, hello, and I'm married, but, you know, it's not the point. The point is, it's like, wow, you know, you're really out there, you know, putting it out, right, putting that energy out there for the world to feel, um, and that's just really what it is. <clears throat> it's crazy. So let's see what's going on over here with the justification. You're standing in your own truth, in your own energy, wanting this. Man, love it. Just feeling like yourself, but better, right? And it's a very healthy thing. That's why I love it, because it's very healthy. It's healthy for you to be this way. This is the way you were created. And because of the way life is, things bring us down, so now you can feel like you're balanced again. Oh, yeah, look at that. You might even have, you have a king of swords who is going to be noticing you. You have this Aquarius, Libra, somebody who is noticing you. You're noticing you all gorgeous. They might even be saying, yeah, that's the one for me. I love that energy. Look at her. She's positive. She knows what she wants. She knows who she is. She's beautiful. She's successful. She's beautiful on the inside, the outside. Just look at her and she's spontaneous. She's driving that force. She's fun. Don't forget the fun. She's fun and proud. And this is going to get this person's attention. So I don't know whose attention you're sparking in the beginning of the month, but they are watching you. Boom. Hello. Hello, Mr. or Mrs. I'm watching you. <laughs> okay. 
go, Taurus, go. And over here with the Nine of Pentacles, you get the Justice again. I think you have some kind of Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini who is just really watching you. I mean, they're, they're seeing your truth. They're seeing your truth. They're seeing that. They're seeing how spontaneous you are. You might be going to the beach or something, and they're going to be like, whoa, hello. But they see you as being justified and balanced. They see you as who you're supposed to be. Wow. And you know it. And you feel it. On top of the death is the sun. Well, okay. Well, that's it. That's that. I'm just a ladybug for this month, maybe. Maybe it's a complete change over for some of you. Um, you know? And the whole thing is, is that the sun is, there's that freedom and that more fire coming through you, feeling that dynamicness, that spontaneousness. But you have to remember, too, within the realm of, <laughs> yeah, there you go, right? With the sun, everything's revolving around you right now, Taurus. You are in the spotlight. It's all about you, right? It's all about Taurus right now. It's not even Taurus, it's not even Taurus month and it's all about you. Don't tell cancer that, right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, everything seems to revolve around you. They see you as freedom loving. They see you having a great time, open. Like I said, being yourself, but you are the center of the universe right now. So as I said, man, I would love to go to this. Can't wait to go to the store this weekend and go look at Taurus strutting her stuff and strutting his stuff. Who knows, maybe I'm strutting my stuff too and don't even know it. <laughs> Be like, wow, you're looking very nice today. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> I feel wonderful. Uh-oh, getting a little sassy. My son would say, I'm, I'm listening for him over there. He'd be like, uh-oh, this is going to be a reading of sass. Because now you're going to be like a, you're going to drop the cow and you're going to be that, that sassy, uh, what was my, my son calls it, the show horse. Taurus show horse. That's right. Sassy show horse. Let's get that sass going. Okay. Middle of the month, you see the star coming in. This ain't about no healing. You don't need no healing right now, Taurus. What are you talking about? There's no healing. This is all about promises. Love. This could be this person. Aquarius again. Libra, Aquarius. I got Scorpio, Leo, Capricorn, another Taurus, right? Whoever it is, maybe an Aries, who knows? Maybe you're giving another Aries a run for their money, right? I got passion too, watch this. But I can do it all different. <laughs> I don't use Mars. <laughs> okay. Anyways. So here we go. No, I ain't no, getting no healing. I got promises, goals, dreams. People see me as a star. This is people still seeing you as the beautiful Venus that you are. Loving and adoring you and seeing you as a shining bright star. That's it. That's it. No read reason to be doing anything else could even be hopes and promises coming to you from this other person we're gonna say geez, I don't know it's it, I'm gonna say air sign for now I got more air than anything so coming over here in this area is what's going on in the mid-month you got the star and the magician you might have this person manifesting you there's a lot of action being taken they see you as a star a shining bright star and they might be manifesting you maybe you haven't even gone on a day with them yet maybe they're just still looking at you but however it is they are trying to take action towards you and they are coming towards you and you are also manifesting as well you're manifesting hopes dreams and promises and I do believe this is someone else doing the same thing look at you you are recognized oh my gosh and you might even be recognized by two people it could be the Sun and this other person careful Taurus you're getting too much attention. <laughs> now you're getting too much attention because it looks like you're you're really on a pedestal over here in mid-month. You're shining so bright that you're actually might be getting two people's attention. And it might be a Libra and an Aquarius, or it could be this sun sign because I'm seeing this here. Could be fire. Could be a fire sign versus this um, air sign. Everybody wants Taurus in July. Okay. 
shoot, everybody wants Taurus, and then there's going to be people who are going to be like, wow, I wish I was Taurus. Okay. So your manifest, look at that. Like I said, you're manifesting for your dreams, and I'm telling you, having two manifesting cards up here with magic, somebody else is manifesting you. They want you, Taurus. Oh my goodness, clarifying on the magician. Taking action, having your dreams, and I wouldn't doubt the chariot ain't coming up some more. Manifesting, passion and love, there it is, Aries, boom. Yep, that passion. They want that passion. They want that excitement. They want that Taurus inner. They want that Taurus, just period. They want your passion. They want your romance. They want your fun. They want you. And they're manifesting you. They want you to get closer to them. They want you to take action with them on a larger note. And you have three of pentacles over here. I do think that you have this person and someone else watching you. I really do feel that way. Yeah, choosing between two. You might have to choose between two, Taurus. It could be a Libra and an Aries. Like I said, fire and air. You might have to choose. But you're going to get in your high priestess because you, you know what? You're already in your own energy anyways. You're just going to just, your intuition is probably kicking anyways because of the Venus. So, and being this grounded and this balanced, you're, I wouldn't see that anyways. You're standing in your truth. So, yeah, there's some secrets. and sec But you know what it's really saying is secret desires. So I think while you have one over here who is really trying to push the envelope with you, you have the other one over here who you might not know likes you, and they have a secret crush on you with the high priestess. So you might have, could even be a Pisces, even though that would be the first water I've seen up here the whole time. But you do see it. There is somebody who has a secret desire about them about you um so you might have to choose wisely or deep oh my gosh you might even be a little blinded to it or you might notice it like i said you're pretty open right now when you're in your own energy you might already be aware of this but they don't think that you know because it looks like a secret it's a secret secret crush this one over here they come on strong this one over here it's a secret that's what it looks like Either that or it is only one person. It doesn't, look at that though. You're noticed by everyone. It's hard to, I, I say two people. It could be one that you're already kind of in, in, getting involved in. And then you have this other person maybe at work or something who's kind of looking at you like, I have a crush on you. I don't know. To the end month you got the ace of cups oh boy you have the six of pentacles they want to give to you taurus and you still have somebody watching you i'm telling you the air sign is the one that's watching you whoever this other was it the air sign that was it however it doesn't matter you have one that wants to give to you and one that's watching you one that's really giving a lot to you and then you have one and you might even have both of them trying to manifest you at the same time i don't know it's really crazy. It could be a huge possibility. Unless this person hasn't really come out yet. Wow, there's that too, huh? If this person hasn't really come out yet and you have other people watching you, maybe they are the ones that have a secret. Maybe they haven't done anything. They're just manifesting you and you haven't even done anything yet. Hmm. Maybe they're the ones with the secret crush. Maybe that's why it's this one. Maybe the, I don't know, maybe none of them will come towards you. I don't know. But I do tell you one thing. Definitely have a secret crush. And I think for most of you, there's two people over here that are really looking at you. With the Ace of Cups over here, this is like overwhelming. You got the desire, the beauty, the Ace of Cups. Everything's going your way. You feel like you have the success, the love, the everything. And you're patiently planning. That's Taurus card. And you're celebrating. So you might even be celebrating something at the end of the month. Um, could be going out on a date. You finally get a date with this person. Um, something of this nature. Because there is a celebration that looks like it's going on. 
um, with the Six of Pentacles over here. And it definitely makes you happy. Six of Pentacles. Someone's giving to you. They feel very generous. It feels like there's a lot of generosity going over here. It could even be the Six of Pentacles and them taking you out all the time. Right? When they give, it could be just them giving you dates, them taking you out. There's a lot of harmony going on over here. Um, it feels like the perfect timing for this to go on. There's a lot of determination going on over here. Wow. And it feels like you're moving in the right direction with the Eight of Cups. It feels like you're on the path that you want to be on and you're feeling great. But then you have the Page of Swords over here. And this is why I feel like you still have this other person spying on you who has a secret desire of you. <laughs> I'm sorry. It does feel like two people. I just, I have to say it. You picked one of them. You went on a date with them. You're having a great time while this other person is still sitting in the background watching you. Could be a Gemini. And they're watching you um, waiting for their perfect moment. They're almost, it's almost like either they don't know that you're dating this other person and they're waiting for their perfect timing for you to recognize them or, um, or they're just waiting for this other relationship to just bomb, like to bomb out so that they can have their chance, right? For some of them, I don't even think they know you're dating this other person. I think it's like someone at work and then somewhere, someone somewhere else. Um, so I don't think they even know that. But they're just waiting for their, they're shy. Could even be a cancer. They're shy. There's a shyness coming out. That's why they haven't said anything. It's just a secret desire. Yeah, but they're really holding tight for the perfect timing for them to get their chance with you. But yet they haven't said anything. They just watch you. Hmm. Interesting. I would say watch for, you know, if you don't know exactly who it is, watch for your P's and Q's, right? Because this person has to be up in your face somehow or another. Maybe, you know, don't, um, maybe you're just, and then for some of you, you already know. Like, they, it's, it's too up in your face, right? But there is a lot of success going on over here with all this beauty and love and romance and all this great stuff that you have going on over here. So don't stop being yourself. You just keep going. And this was the perfect timing for you to get out of the shell, feel like yourself and feel beautiful. Wow. And yeah, be assertive. And you know what? You're going to be assertive because you have that Aries inside of you. So there's nothing more that you can do on that. If it resonates with you, you are definitely going to be Aries because you are going to be definitely assertive. All fire signs are assertive. So there is not going to be any um, Taurus um, kind of like waiting for them to make kind of the move. Mm, a lot of Tauruses do that. They kind of stay back, wait for somebody else. And that makes a lot of missed opportunities. It's almost like the universe is saying, you're not going to miss these opportunities. You're going to come out, boom it, say it, be aggressive. Hey, you want to go out? I mean, it's going to be, and it's, that's not a part of your energy though. A whole lot right on a friendship basis yes but on this love basis um, we most horses tend to hold back a little bit more um, pull back on the reins a little there is no of that this is coming in strong and aggressive okay and happy fun okay and that was it for you my friends until next time peace and love